Now, with Tani, knowing the formula as we do now, quarter one of 2015, it was 380,000. Then it jumped to 390, quarter two, up to 400, quarter three, jumped to 410, just over quarter four. Commence 2016 at 415,000, it just continues to rise. 430 for quarter two, 450 for quarter three, and 481,000, the medium price for um, the last quarter of 2016. Now, that represents 2.6, 3.2, 1.8, 1.1, 3.5, 4.4, .4, and 6.5% off a high base quarterly growth, quarter on quarter. Now, what has driven this primarily is the fact that we had 144 homes there, which was a statistical aberration. But you look at quarter two of 2015, 189 homes sold, 189 homes sold quarter three. Okay, we dropped back to 162 in quarter four, 162 in quarter one of 2016, 151, 201, and here is the issue. 130 homes only for sale in quarter four, of 2016, which resulted in the, the growth of 6.5%. Now, looking at the number of homes that we had that we had um, for sale in 2015, we had 684, and then 20, uh, 15 rather, and then 2016, we had 644. Now, that's obviously 40 less. So we've got more buyers, we've got less homes, and I would suggest to you that like Wyndham Vale, that, that's not, it's probably far, far that, that, that figure is uh, not as, um, it could be a lot worse, put it that way. The reason why is that because of your Wyndham, Wyndham Vale and Tarnit are areas of great growth with new homes and new estates. So really, if there's got that growth in homes, you would expect to have a greater growth in homes for sale, and it hasn't happened. And as a consequence, we've seen 6.2% drop in available number of homes for sale, and a 21% increase in the median price, which was 380, at the commencement of quarter one of 2015 and ended up, this is incredible, isn't it? 400, pardon my writing, but you get the picture. 481,000. As someone said to me the other day, they repeated that back to me. They said, 20% growth? That means that if I had a $400,000 home in um, 2015, January, it's worth 500,000 now. Statistically proven correct.